and what is going on? This is the Barnacle Fan back from Italy doing more videos for you guys now and I'm kicking off uh, with a new development that has taken place in the Barnacle community. It was first pointed out to me, um, well actually I found it out first myself when I was searching the web. I was going to look on the official Barnacle website, I don't know why because since 2010 uh, the website stagnated and nothing was being done to it. But anyway, yeah, the results came up and uh, I was expecting to see officialmyuncle.com and it wasn't there. And I looked and, yeah, I found out that it had been deleted after all. Also, a YouTuber known as Eureka615, who was recently subscribed to me, which I thank him for because now that's got me to 120 subscribers. My subscribers count uh, spiked while I was away. I don't know why, uh, I thought it would be the other way around, but anyway. Yeah, he made a video the other day, as the date this was uploaded, and yeah, the Barnacle website is gone. Uh, I should be feeling disappointed, but I can't bring myself because uh, since 2010, the website, nobody really used it, I guess. It was just left on the last page, which was about the... Bionicle stars and how everyone returned to Spherus Magna and the Brotherhood of Makuta had been vanquished. In my opinion, and I'll probably have my a price on my head after I say this, but personally, I don't think any of the Bionicle websites have been any good. Maybe apart from the Biomedia project, uh, but you know, even BZ Power, I don't get the deal with the BZ Power. Every time I try and go on, there's either a problem with it or and when it is working it's just the ugliest website I've ever seen in my life and it doesn't do anything it's just full of forums about people starting flame wars between Barnacle and Hero Factory and so I don't even use that I don't see what people are harping on about when they're going about BZ Power of yeah anyway sorry if I'm getting a little angry but I want to try and stay this rant now towards my favourite years of Bionicle because I've done my favourite character of Bionicle and that was met with a good response thank you but I want to do the my favourite years of Barnacle now. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably expecting me to go, Nah, 2001 Genesis. The year that started it all. And if you've seen my friend A.A. Goods, I remembered how to pronounce his name, you see. Uh, if you've seen the HQ45 channel and seen his video on his favourite years of Barnacle, he'd say that 2001 was one of his favourites, which I can see why. Um... With the Tomata and the Borok and the Rahi. Not the Borok, what am I on about? Yeah, the Rahi. And the Tomata were going around Matanui trying to find the masks. Um, but as a fan of Bionicle, I'm afraid I can't say that I was around at this point. I only got into Bionicle 2003, 2002 at the earliest, maybe. So I can't yeah, talk about 2001, really. I can't really compare it to anything. So I'm afraid I'm just going to have to leave this one out for now and I can... Because I did get into the 2001 sets afterwards, so yeah. I can come back to this part of the storyline if needs be later on. Ah, 2003. Now this is when I got into Bionicle. The Rakshi was my... I got three Rakshi for uh, the Christmas of 2003. I remember that because I got... I think I got all six. Yeah, I was pretty spoiled. No, but my first one was the Borok New Voc, the 2002 set. Uh, not the Borok call, just the standard Borok. Um, but these were the next ones, the Rakshi, and uh, I loved them. And I was just so cool how they had the spikes and staffs and things. But really, looking back, the Rakshi were more of my favourite sets or characters rather than my action actual year of the storyline. So I think instead I'm going to do my top three favourite years in ascending order with an explanation as to why I've chosen each one. My favourite probably has to be 2006 because it had some awesome characters in it, just a whole new level. It was the height of Barnacle, the sales were doing well and you can tell just by the diversity of characters that were turning up in this part of the storyline. Also, the setting kind of returned to that whole villagers living on a tropical island, secluded, 2001 sort of deal with the Matoran resistance living on Voyanui. It was sort of 
a homage maybe to the 2001 where they were all living secluded on this little island. Also by this point we get introduced to the uber powerful characters that take on the Paraka such as Ernak and Vezon and the Spear of Fusion where he fuses all the Paraka together which is sort of hilarious and awesome at the same time. Now here's a backdrop I'm sure you're all familiar to seeing. Yes, 2004. I love 2004. I mean, uh, I think it's quite an underrated, maybe underrated, I don't know, but I think it's quite an underrated part of the storyline. I don't know why I like this one so much, really. It's just sort of the calm. is one of my favourite characters. And Legends of Mechanu was by far the superior film of the four, in my opinion, I should add. Also, I guess it's because... Uh, it's the first time the Dark Hunters are properly introduced with Krekker and Nadiki and uh, that opens the way for more Dark Hunters. Especially in 2005, which I'm about to come on to now. 2005. This is an awesome year, I think, because uh, there were some really good Titans released as the sets, including the Shadowed One, the leader of the Dark Hunters, and as I mentioned when I was discussing 2004, the Dark Hunters do sort of play a role in this. If you do some reading up on the Barnacle Wiki about things that happened in the backstory of the 2005 Toa Hordica and the Web of Shadows film, um, you, you'll be surprised at what was going on in the storyline at that point, which wasn't put into the film. It was incredible. There was Voparak, Centrak, and all the Dark Hunters, it was so cool. And if you notice on the Dark Hunter box that were never released for the public, uh, like Darkness and things like that, you'll see on their picture, that is much newer, that's the picture of 2005. So all this was going on in 2005, there was, it became such a deep storyline and there were so many badass characters. Um, and if you read the Bionicle Legends book by Greg Farshty where it has Iron of Doom, Dark Destiny and so on. You will um, get to know all about this when they're on their island at Odina. And that more or less concludes it, my favourite years of Bionicle. Uh, if you made it all the way through the video then I congratulate you. Um, and if you are still watching then could you please comment below on what you sort of want me to do videos wise next because sort of I'm not running out of ideas but I sort of need a boost of ideas now that I've finished Barnacle Wars series um, so if you could do that that would be great and that's about it thanks for listening and I'll see you later